Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with MechTech here, and today we're taking a look at the Aula F3068 and 65% two mode connection keyboard. Two mode being meaning it has Bluetooth connectivity as well as USB-C to USB-A. Well, connectivity, actual functionality is something we'll see. Now I bought this kit and I was actually a little bit impressed by the quality of its build. It comes with your standard fare, your booklet, your USB cable. It also came with what I found to be the thinnest, smallest switch puller I've ever seen yet. And a couple of extra switches that were emblazoned or marked with Leo Bog. I've never seen these switches. Uh, now, the green were tactile, but about as tactile as a Gateron Brown, and the pink was a linear. Now, it does have an on and off switch down at the bottom, and it has a glossy racing stripe, um, as well as these two feet that were extremely hard. They were quite tight in their spots, and it also had RGB effects. Now, I would have gone a little bit further into this keyboard. I was intending to modify it because I actually like the fact that it didn't have 2.4 and I like the fact that it was actually felt a little bit more substantial than some other kits and at $35 and I had a coupon so I think I got it for a little bit less than that. But turns out that you have to have the switch on on regardless of being connected or not. If otherwise the keyboard will not work, does not turn on, doesn't do anything. Also, when I went to connect it to Bluetooth, which I could connect to numerous devices, I tried on two different computers as well as my Android device, and it would connect, but it would not work. The only way it worked if it was connected wired and if I switched to um, wired mode, which is the function R. You see it's got that little Wi-Fi. Um, it's default on wireless mode, so it took me a while. When I first plugged it in, it did not work. So this is the uh, blue switch that's included in it. Um, this is the clicky. It's quite loud. Now, it, it didn't add the two extra holes, so it only has three pin availability uh, for switches. But they are... Um, not the Otemu sockets. And it did have padding between the plate and PCB, and also a recessed USB-C port. Now the stabilizers on this keyboard were probably the most unstable stabilizers I've seen on a budget kit to date. Uh, they were quite loose. This would require several layers of tape and I'm guessing it's because of the thinness of the board. Although it did come in at roughly right under 600 grams. And here's where I would have done a sound test, but when I realized that nothing was coming through. 